Hey guys, uh, you're probably watching this video today uh, based on the title. Uh, you're not getting internet through your wireless router. Um, we're going to give you a good solution to fix that problem. Uh, we feel the best thing to at least try first is power cycle, your modem, and your wireless router. Um, first thing to check is make sure that all of your connections are good. Uh, we're going to start out with the coax cable. We want to make sure that that's good and tight on the back of your modem. Follow the cord all the way back to the wall. Any connections along the way, make sure they're good and tight. The other uh, cord is the Ethernet cable that's connecting to your modem. We want to make sure that's plugged in good and tight. Uh, and then follow that back to your wireless router. And we can take a look. It goes into the internet port on the wireless router. The other connection ports are for wired computers. So once you're good there, we're going to start the process of rebooting. So first off, what we want to do is shut off any devices that are connected to the router. So in this case, we just have one computer. We're going to power that down. And then we can go ahead and power off the modem and the router. Modem has a power cord on the back. Just unplug that. The router has the same thing. So we're going to unplug that cord. Now on the back of the router, we do have a power button on this particular model. And there are some that have that. Uh, some do not. We want to make sure we do not use that to power the wireless router on and off as it does not do a full reset. Make sure you're unplugging that power cord. So. Uh, once you have let the modem sit for well, roughly 20 seconds, we're just going to go ahead, uh, reverse order, we're going to plug in power to the modem. And uh, this is going to take just a few moments for it to reboot, so we're just going to zoom ahead. We're waiting for all four of these lights to become solid. Okay, now that you see the four lights are all solid, that means your modem is ready to go. And we need to plug in the power cable to the back of our wireless router. So again, we're just gonna plug that in. And uh, what we're waiting for is this to boot up. And uh, that's gonna be denoted by a blue light by the 5G network. Um, that's particular to this model here. So again, we're just gonna zoom ahead a little bit here and uh, save you guys some time. All right, at this point, we've got the 5G light turned on. So um, I'm going to just show you a couple of things that uh, could be an issue here. Uh, with the 5G light on, you can also see there's a little globe icon here. And I want to make sure I get the right angle here. Um, you'll be able to see that there's a green light on there. Uh, if you didn't have a good connection at the modem, maybe your modem's uh, malfunctioning, uh, that light would most likely be uh, orange. It would not be green. Uh, also, this little lock icon, um, if the light is flashing or whatnot, that really won't affect your connection to the modem. Uh, not really a problem with rebooting the modem or anything like that, or the router. Uh, we can kind of ignore that one for now. That would be an advanced video that we're going to do later. Uh, however, this wireless light, uh, if you do press and hold it for a little bit here, and I'm going to try to get it to do what I need it to, uh, and then I release it, uh, it does shut off the radios. Uh, this would be if you didn't want anybody to use your wireless network uh, and you just wanted to use those extra ports we talked about to connect other computers hardline, but you didn't want the wireless. You may have accidentally shut this off and not known it, but this is what it would look like. So we just go ahead and press and hold that button again for a few moments and then let it go and it should fire those radios right back up. And evidently that was an unlucky push. Let's try that again. Press and hold that for a moment. I'll let it go and there we go there's the time that kicks those radios back in and uh, your wireless is back in functioning so that's one thing that sometimes you run into where you lose your wireless and you don't know why maybe check that out uh, the last step after I've got it all fired up uh, let's just take and turn our computer back on and again during boot time we'll zoom ahead just a little bit all right let's go ahead and get ourselves onto the web and check for connection. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you reboot your modem and router combination. I uh, hope this helped, and uh, good luck.